Welcome to our BC Kids Celebrate Wonder Bible Lesson. Today's lesson is Isaac is Born. Our Bible story comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. Our Bible verse this month says, The Lord carried out just what he had promised. Genesis 21, 1. This month's wonder word is faith. Faith is believing and hoping in God's promises. We have faith that God is with us wherever we go. Welcome to our Celebrate Wonder time together. In today's story, we learn that Abraham and Sarah are very old and they still haven't seen God's promise of a child. But before we get into our story, let's pray. Will you put your hands together, close your eyes, and repeat after me. God, thank you for the hope you give us. Help us find joy in your promises while we wait. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Where did you get your name? Does it have a special meaning? My first name is Sulma, and Sulma is Arab, and it means peace. My name reminds me that I should share peace with those around me. In today's story, we learn of a new baby who gets a very special name. Let's watch our video to find out more about this story. Hello friends, it's Samuel. Do you remember how old Abraham and Sarah were? They were a hundred years old. Whoa. They have been on a long journey of faith, believing in God's promises. They waited a long time to have a child, and they finally had a baby boy. His name was Isaac. They had been hoping to have a baby a lot sooner, but God makes promises happen according to God's time. What's so amazing about this story is that Abraham and Sarah waited and God's promise came true. They had faith to keep going, even when it seemed impossible. When Isaac was born, Sarah laughed. Maybe she laughed because she was happy. Maybe she laughed because this news was unbelievable. But Sarah's laughter was full of joy. Sarah had faith and she finally got to see and experience God's promise right in front of her. Have you ever had faith or hope for something you really wanted? Was it hard? One year for my birthday, I really wanted to go to the park with my best friend, but it stormed all day and we couldn't go. I had waited all week for that day and when it came, I was so disappointed we couldn't go. I was really sad. But the next day was sunny. I got to go to the park, and when I got there, all of my friends were there to surprise me, and we got to eat pizza. It wasn't the original plan, but it ended up being even better. Even though it was different and not what I planned, it still brought me joy. God answered Abraham and Sarah's prayer but it looked way different than they imagined. Their journey of faith was long, but worth it because they had Isaac. Sometimes we won't get exactly what we want, but we can have faith that God is with us. We can still have hope even when it's hard. As we journey with faith, we can believe in God's promises and be patient to see what will come. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Wow, Abraham and Sarah were a hundred years old. That's a long time to wait. But God kept his promises and gave Abraham and Sarah the child he had promised. 
Along the way, Abraham and Sarah need, needed lots of reminders to help them remember that they could trust in God. Let's open our family activity guide to the story called Isaac is Born. Today's story comes from Genesis chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. As I read, I want you to imagine how Abraham and Sarah felt when they first held their baby in their arms. Can you hear the coos of a baby? Let's listen to our story. Sarah did have a child, just as God had promised. Abraham and Sarah waited a long time for God's promise to be fulfilled. I can imagine that there were times they wondered if this would ever happen. When Isaac was born, Sarah laughed. Her laughter was one of joy the joy of having a son, and the joy of God's promise that he kept. Abraham and Sarah had faith. They believed their God was always present, even in times of doubt. They continued to hope even when it was so hard to do so. They were so happy when Isaac was born. Isaac brought a lot of joy to his parents. Today, we learn that Isaac's name means laughter. His mother laughed when she saw her baby, just like your mom laughed with joy when she held you for the first time. God's promises are not just for us, they're for everyone. And so when Isaac was born, and brought joy and laughter to Abraham and Sarah. His birth also brought joy and laughter to all of us because through the story of Abraham and Sarah, we learn that we can trust God even when it's hard and when we have doubts. But then we come to realize that God's promises are true and his promises give us lots of joy. Let's thank God for the promises that he keeps. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for keeping your promises. Help us to use your promises to us to share joy and laughter with others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us, friends. I hope we can meet again next week. We don't